Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Melissa, the owner of Cali Meets NYC, and we are a home fragrance business based out of Lake Worth, Florida. And I'm so excited today. Guess what? I have a fragrance haul from Porter Candle Supply. Porter Candle Supply actually just released their Autumn Equinox fragrance collection and it just came in. So I am excited. So if you're thinking that it is too soon for fall or to be prepping for fall, you, my friend, are wrong. So I actually received an email from a vendor a couple of days ago asking for my lookbook for fall. They're asking for it to have everything by June 15th. Yes, so people need to be prepping for fall pretty early. Vendors are asking, stores are asking, retailers are, are asking. These are when vendors and buyers are preparing their shops to buy. So you need to prepare early. So let's get into this. If you know me, and they have watched my fragrance hauls, you know that I am obsessed with fragrance is, and I'm so excited. So these, this is gonna be first sniffs. I'm also going to read fragrance notes as always, and so excited. So I'm just gonna go in order of how it is on the website so it's easier for me. I laid out everything down below, so it's just easier for me. So this first one is Black Apple. So. Ooh. Oh. This is very nice. It's mysterious. It has some cinnamon behind it. But it does not, it's not like this is nice this is sophisticated it's like i want to say it's haunting it's like dark but it has this crisp apple note behind it so you have like some cinnamon but a very very crisp apple note behind it this is beautiful let me read the notes. So the top note is our citrus zest, cassia spark, middle is black apple, clove bud, and the bottom is patchouli and tonka bean. And when I tell you this thing is sophisticated, it really is. Oh, the funny thing, so here's the description. This hauntingly delicious spin on a classic apple fragrance is anything but basic. Clove bud and patchouli enrich the sweetness of juicy apple, citrus zest, and a mischievous touch of tonka bean. You'll be spellbound by its enchanting aroma. And no lie, I'm completely spellbound. This thing smells so beautiful. And I have an apple fragrance that I've been using in my line since we launched for fall. And this knocks it out of the water. This is absolutely amazing. And it just, it is gorgeous, gorgeous. I cannot wait to try this and test this out in wax. I'm very excited. I might actually test candles today because that thing smells so amazing. So here is the second one. Now, when I saw the teaser that Johanna had put out for this particular fragrance, I, I said, no doubt in my mind am I going to love this one. So I really hope this does not let me down. This is balsamic fig and honey. So 
I'm really hoping I love this one. Oh. Oh. This smells so good. This smells so good. It's like you get that sourness from the the balsamic vinegar, but a very, it's like tangy yet sweet, fruity, and it's just, uh, I, this, I feel like it's not one of those where it screams fall, like if you have an apple, like a typical apple or a typical pumpkin, that it screams fall, but this is like, this is so beautiful, it, I mean, I'm going to try it out. It seems like this can be either a transition fragrance or something that can be summer to fall or, you know, probably summer to fall and even into winter. I want to see how this works out. So the top notes for this one is golden pears, wintry green, cardamom. The middle notes are sugared fig, aged bourbon, tonka bean. The bottom is rich caramel, Indian sandalwood, and honey. And it just, it smells so beautiful. So, so beautiful. It's, it is dreamy. Just smell it again. It is, it's so bright. It is so different than anything I have smelled. I've smelled some figs. And I'm really not a fan of them, but I wanted to find either a fig or a plum that works. This, I'm telling you, this might be good all year round. I'm not even going to lie. And because I have just moved to Florida, I really need something in my line that is not so apple or pumpkin-y because of the weather here. The weather here probably calls for this, so very exciting. So the next one on the list is smoked brandy in the leather. And when I saw this, I said, listen, I have something in my line that is kind of similar. And I'm sitting here like, if I can replace that with this, I'd be really happy. I'd be really, really happy. So if this thing just sounds like it's, it smells amazing. Okay, I'm not even going to lie. This might be better than what I currently have. And it has it has that smoked brandy that is in the one that I have. And it's sweet. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I need to test this out in wax because this smells... If you have... So I have a candle. It's called... Um, uh, leather and bergamot and that is in my line and it's a mix of a couple of different fragrances and this smells like a straight on dupe of that and I am I'm so excited I am so so excited because this this smells beautiful. This smells... So I've been trying to play with my bergamot and leather, my leather and bergamot fragrance to get it to smell a little bit sweeter because I want it to smell sweet, but I want it to smell very woody and have some smoky next to it and still, still keep that. But this has exactly what I'm looking for. I'm so excited. 
this is going to be testing. It's not going to go on the fall line. It is definitely going to be tested and seeing if I can swap what I'm using out for this. Let me tell you the top notes. So the top notes are leather and brandy. The middle notes are candied oranges, patchouli, and cherry. The bottom is tobacco and vanilla. When I tell you this thing smells amazing, I am not lying. I am not lying. This thing smells absolutely amazing. So the next one is cognac and tobacco. So when I saw the teaser about this particular one, I was excited for it because it's something that they, like Porter Candle Supply has a lot of, a lot of sweet fragrances, have a lot of um, a tea house type of fragrances, bubble tea, things of that nature. And so when you're getting into the wood, more woodsy, that is my realm. That is my realm and stuff I've been looking for. So I'm excited for this one. This is so nice. It is so nice. It's smoldering. It's, it's not that, I want to say it's like you're in a speakeasy. That type of vibe where it's mysterious, but it's like in your, ugh. Like I smell, I smell leather in here. I smell the tobacco. I feel, I sm feel like I smell a spice, like um, clove. Um, there's definitely like a base of sandalwood in here too. Okay. Let's read. The notes. So the top is bergamot, cashmere, and amber. The middle is tobacco leaves, rose powder, French cognac accord. The bottom is delicate leather, red cedar, and tonka bean. So the wood note I was smelling instead of the sandalwood is cedar. This thing smells so amazing. And what I was smelling that is sweet and mysterious is the rose powder. I couldn't place, I couldn't place, place it. This thing smells so beautiful. Okay. That's a four out of 10. I'm, I'm not a four out of four right now. <laughs> Okay, so we are on to smoldering embers. Now this one, I it wasn't, I wasn't like extremely like over thrills with this one, just because I'm not a big fireside person, but Johanna and Amber went live on Instagram and when they were describing the scents, it just made me want to get the, the fun pack. So I don't, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but I got the fun pack for the um, autumn equinox and it gives you 15% off of, off of, you know, regular two ounces. So I decided to get smoldering embers based on their descriptions of what they were describing because it just sounded it sounded great. So I said, if there were like one, one or two fragrances that I wasn't like too thrilled about, that I said, let me just try it out anyway. Who knows, it might be, it might surprise me. So smoldering embers.
okay. So I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. I was definitely wrong. So the reason why I think Amber said this, I don't think Johanna said this, but Amber, I'm pretty sure is the one who said that you might be surprised with this, this smells like a sophisticated fireside, like a very more luxurious fireside. So this is nice. This surprised me. Cinnamon. I smell like, you know, how you smell some burn a little bit. And I smell like earth. Oh, okay, so the top notes for this one is crushed fallen leaves, lingering smoke haze, and clove. The middle notes are charred fire embers, juniper berries, and cinnamon stick. The bottom is amber woods, patchouli, and vanilla bean. Okay, so I am definitely trying this one in a candle. One of the whole things is that if you don't like it out of the bottle, I firmly believe in trying it out in wax. You might change your mind because things smell very differently out of the bottle versus cold and hot throw. So definitely try it out. So... This is one I was hesitant on. I wasn't too sure if I should buy it or not, but I said, you know what? I might be a little surprised with, with this. This is green pumpkin wheat. Now, I'm a little apprehensive now about pumpkin because one, I'm trying to lean away from the more typical scents of fall and winter and lean more towards more sophisticated, unique scents for fall and winter seasonal scents. But when I saw the description for this in, in like green pumpkin wheat, that sounds interesting. So I said, why not? Okay, I don't think I'm a fan. I dropped it on me. I don't know if I'm a fan of this. So it's very earthy and I think that's why I might not be a fan. Let's read the notes. The top notes are white peppercorn, grapefruit peel, herbal. The middle notes are cypress needle, green gourd, and a wild geranium. The bottom notes are patchouli, amber, and dried twig. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm a fan. This smells very much like outdoors. And I'm talking about, not like in a bad sense, but it smells like hayride outdoors. And green pumpkin and wheat that makes sense with outdoors it's not for cali meats nyc okay so now i'm gonna go walking around smelling like green pumpkin and wheat yes okay so this next one i'm really excited about and i know so I have been looking for an almond fragrance, looking, haunting for an almond fragrance for the longest time. So I'm, I have high hopes for this one, very high hopes. <sighs> mm. 
this smells yummy. And I know this is in her lingerie collection. This smells so yummy. So, so yummy. Toasted almond and honey. I've been looking for an almond, a really good almond fragrance that's not like over, like some, most of the almond ones that I've seen are like almond and almond oatmeal and honey or almond, almond milk, oatmeal and honey. I don't want the oatmeal. I just want the almond, the almond and honey in the milk if you can. Cause I like, I like the creaminess and this one, this one has creaminess. It's a sweet creaminess. So the fragrance notes are toasted almond. The middle is roasted nuts, sweet nectar. The bottom is balsamic, vanilla, milk, Caramel and coconut. And this thing, let me tell you, it is. You smell that honey, you smell that caramel, you smell the toast and almonds right off the bat, and then it's brought in mixed with the roasted nuts. It's just, I smelt. The creaminess and the creaminess I was smelling was the milk and the caramel. I'm excited to try that one. Very, very excited to try that one in wax. So this next one is caramel apple cider. Now, you know how I said I'm, I, I'm not sure about apple fragrances now because of the climate of where we're living right now. So I'm not sure how, how this will do. But I said, you know what? Be because I bought the fun pack, I said, let me try it anyway. And this smells nice. It smells exactly how I thought it was going to smell, like the caramel apple cider. And it smells beautiful, but it does not, to me, it just doesn't give it the, it doesn't give the fall that I want to give for Cali Me Too, I assume. It reminds me of, a, of um, a few fragrances that I have smelled. It does remind me of um, my childhood home in fall because I grew up in Syracuse, New York, and Syracuse, New York is um, very apple, apple friendly. So that one's a no for me, but it's it smells good, but it it's not like the uniqueness that I that I want for my fall. So the top notes are sizzling apple, warm cinnamon, nutmeg. Middle notes are caramelized sugar, rich butter, sweet cream. The bottom is creamy vanilla and brown sugar. And it, it smells like the mixture of caramel apple. And because of those cinnamon notes, you get the cider and I'm sure when you put this in wax, it really smells like like a hot apple cider. It's just not for the fall that I want. So the next one is cranberry nectarine. Now this is one that I had passed over and I like just the name of it. I'm like, uh. Eh. I don't know about cranberry. Not a big cranberry fan, but who knows? Hmm. It's not bad. It smells. It, it's very sweet. Very sweet. It smells citrusy, a little bitter. Um, 
definitely very fruity. It's a very fruity forward fruit forward fragrance. It's not, it's not for me. So the top notes are lemon zest, sweet orange, melon. The middle notes are tart cranberry, pineapple slices, green pear. The bottom notes are nectarine, sugared strawberry, and amber. And it's not my favorite. So per this is the last one. This is persimmon scones. And I think I had saw this was Johanna's favorite. I believe that's what I saw. And I know she likes like very boulangerie smells. She likes the bakery smells. This is, this particular one is like really, really pungent smelling right there. So I'm going to smell the cap. I, very interesting. This is very interesting. I don't know. This is interesting. It smells like, it smells bready. It smells bready. It smells fruity. It smells sweet. It's like a combination of citrusy, bitter, yeasty, sweet. There's no spice, but I'm, I'm just like, very interesting. I'm not sure. It's very, very strong out of the bottle. Very, very strong. So it would be very interesting to see this, how it performs in wax. I'm going to read the notes to you. The top notes are a warm, bready, confectionery. The middle is apricot, date, persimmon. The bottom notes are sweet vanilla bean, maple, and pecan. And it's very interesting. I'm just... Very interesting. Like, I don't know. But it smells like something that I have never smelt before. I'm going to give you my top, my top fragrances that I'm very, very excited to try. So though out of, out of 10, I really loved six of them, which to me that is not bad. Okay. So my number one is going to be balsamic honey and fig. Balsamic Honey and Fig, I'm very excited to try. It's my number one. My number two is the Smoked Brandy and Leather. And then, this is really hard because I love the rest of these. It's Black Apple. And that's because it's, it's very mysterious. It's different than anything I've ever smelt in an apple. And I'm so excited that I tried this. And it just smells so gorgeous, so mysterious. Then the next one is the Toasted Almond and Honey. And... This is, and then I'm going to do the cognac tobacco and then smoldering embers. But honestly, these are all number one in my book. Uh, I, I probably, I probably won't try. So these are the ones I'm not going to try in wax. It's the green pumpkin wheat, the caramel apple cider, the cranberry nectarine, 
Those are the three that I'm not going to try out in a wax because I'm just not the vibe that I'm going for. The persimmon scones, I'm a little iffy on it because it is really sweet, but I'm interested to see how it goes in wax. So that'll be something that I'll, I'll try in wax. But the, the other six, I'm really excited that Porter Candle Supply has launched their fall this early. And they've also have helped me to elevate my fragrance game as, as far as my cogs and to have unique fragrances. So I'm very, very excited to try all these fragrances and I can't wait to share with you guys which ones are my favorite in wax, which ones are gonna be a part of my fall line. I'm so excited. Make sure you check Porter Candle Supply out. I will put their link in the bio. All right, if you like more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment for more. Until next time, bye you guys. Yeah.